we have another package here. And I believe, I know what it is, but we're gonna open it now. Okay, we got an envelope inside of an envelope. Looks like a glassine of some sort. And inside, we've got what look like Imperial Moth eggs. Eacles Imperialis. So, hopefully, they came out, they survived the uh, transition. I've got, I've tried breeding these before from the Keys. They live all the way in the Keys. But with no, uh, I had bad luck. I was trying to breed them on um, wax myrtle, and wax myrtle is a pain in the butt because it wilts real quick and it gets sour real quick. I'm gonna try these on uh, live oak. If they hatch, we'll see if they hatch. Um, I had a, a big female last year that laid a bunch of eggs that I got from North Florida, and the eggs were infertile. So let's see if these will go for me. Um, some of the eggs don't look so good. Like there's like, uh, like one, maybe one of them got smashed or something. Most of them look good though. So we're gonna put them in this cup and we're gonna try and feed these ones oak. Let's see how we do with the Imperial Moth this time, guys. Hopefully these hatch. Okay. Good news, guys. We have hatches. And they are so cute. Look at the little cute guy. Imperial moth hatches, y'all. Oh, I hope they become healthy. Let's see if they're eating. I put some oak, oak leaves in for them to begin feeding on. They're not, it's not the freshest of growth. All right. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to get them put onto some nice fresh growth here. Looks like we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and, and hatching. Ten and hatching. All right, that's enough to work with. Um, sorry, my grass guy cutting my grass. He's cool. Um, sorry for the background noise. All right, good. All right, so it's been a week and change uh, since our imperial moth eggs have hatched, and they are looking pretty good guys um it looks like they have molted into at least second instar and that's what we're looking like so far uh looking nice and healthy as i look around i can see multiple caterpillars you got those big old scoli spines and they're eating the laurel oak uh looks like very happily um i'm grateful for that because i've tried to raise them before on uh, wax myrtle and hasn't gone well i've had a lot of virus the wax wax myrtle doesn't seem to hold up very well um in on cutting so yeah they're doing good guys i'm happy about this i'm going to clean this container and uh we will bring you bring you more footage oh he's molting look at that okay let's see if we can get a clip of this
All right, folks, so that's, that's it. Our Imperial Moth Caterpillar has fully molted into the next Instar. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, he's gonna harden his skin here over the next few hours and begin to feed again and get bigger and bigger. So we can't, like, can't wait to show you the rest of the life cycle of the Imperial Moth. Take care, guys. Enjoy South Florida. Bye now. Thank you.